Hi guys, it's Wednesday afternoon, I've been busy because stepdad should be coming over tomorrow to put the paint on the ceilings, I don't really need a paint but you know, I suppose if I'm decorating the rest or well, the whole flat I might as well do the ceilings while I'm at it, you know, freshen everything up. Um, And I think either Friday or Saturday he wants to come and start putting the paint on the walls. Which he can do in here. The hallway. And the bathroom. But. If he doesn't mind. If we could wait a week. Till I can get so I. I'll start that again shall I. If he doesn't mind waiting a week. So I can get the stuff from the lounge. Into here. You know, and reassemble of a bedroom. I just hope Mum reminds him to get some gloss for the woodwork. Although, you see, I don't mind doing the woodwork myself. <laughs> you see, if I'm going to freshen the walls up, I want to freshen the woodwork up. So, uh, but, uh, that's what I've been up to. Chest of drawers is now in the lounge where I wanted it, and I think it will go in the gap exactly where I want it. Um, so that's good. I filled in where the old foam socket was, taken my lamp down because I will, uh, once the wall, pardon me, once the wall's all been painted, I will clip the black cable in properly. That runs up to the lamp. And do a nice, neat, proper job. Although I've just thought, if I really wanted to, I could reconnect that switch and do away with that one on the wall. And just connect this black lead into here. No one might actually do that. Because I will just eradicate that switch and then. Because that's why I disconnected this switch. But I don't really. I might have to put some hot snot on there just to hold that switch in. Yeah, I might do that later actually. Just reinstate that switch. Uh, I just have put a plug on the other end of this. Because it's quite a long black cable so. I mean, that's a heck of a lot of slack. Look at it. <laughs> it's all curled up behind here as well. You can see a bit of it there. I was just thinking I could just run it around the top of the skirt and board with some clips and then straight up the wall where it was. That sounds like a plan. Um... Walls I have sanded down. I think I've done everywhere. I don't think I missed anything. No, nope, they're all done. It's all fine. It's a bit raised there, but I don't give a monkey's about that. Holes and more nuts. Look how flat the wall is, though. Look at that. Can you see that trunking? And just to prove. It's the wall and not my fixing. Look at the socket. <laughs> Plaster did really well at making that wall flat, didn't he? <laughs> he did a really good job. Done that one. I'll go over that one again. Couldn't quite reach. I've just got that little one and that little one I do. But uh, I'll show you why I'm going to need a week to get the lounge ready. Because I've got that to move. I've got those to take down and I can, I'll repaint those bottom shelves as well. Because I've scratched them to shit. Um, and I've got this friggin' lot. <laughs> as well as taking down those shelves 
and filling in the bracket holes because I've got two different shelves to go up there that match the top two so that's what I'm going to do I've got to get over there to get these clips out of the wall fill out or take those two screws out and fill those holes in and I think that is it obviously take the top two shelves down but not fill in those holes I've got all this lot to sand down so I've got to move this that's going to be an utter that is staying in here I'm not taking that out because that's too much of a pain in the ass to move uh, and if you're wondering what this lot is I've got some more computers in there's nothing there of you know nothing super duper awesome in this lot um, there was a couple of video cards but again nothing better than what I've got in my in my main system I've got a GeForce NVIDIA GeForce um, 9800 in there so it's not brilliant that could do with an upgrade itself but if I'm going to build a specific machine for the bedroom then ugh, I'm not going to bother upgrading the video on this um, but yeah I've got another one of these <laughs> fed with an AMD dual core um, tested posts so that's as far as I've tested it there is no RAM and no hard drives in any of them I've got that box of bits over there that had another half a dozen mice or so in it I'll show you that in a minute a bunch of these one of the computers, or two of them, I didn't really test. It was this one. Reason being, when I took the side cover off, there's about eight capacitors inside there. With the tops bulging and leaking, so... I did turn it on. It does turn on, but I know full well it ain't going to work. So... I'm going to use that as like a little guinea pig just to test my soldering on replacing capacitors. It doesn't work, so I'm not going to make it any worse, am I? I've got another motherboard up in my cupboard in exactly the same condition. That also doesn't actually work. turns on but doesn't, you know, output anything. Because the capacitors around the processor have all blown on that motherboard as well, so I might as well fix them both. One, I'll get the practice, and two, like I said, if, if they don't work, I'm not going to make them any worse. So, But one of them, the case was dented, had a huge dent right in the top, and it was crap. So I just took the motherboard out, which is this ASRock one. Yeah, it was simple, dual core. I expect it's a dual core, I wouldn't expect it to be anything else. If it's not, I'd be surprised. Um, but I haven't tested that yet. That power supply came with it all as well. An electric CD cleaner, or disc cleaner, you know, DVD, whatever you want to stick in it, I suppose. Cleaner. Internet hub, which I was debating on using over my little one. Because it's got the extra ports on that, so if I'm playing around with a laptop or something I want to connect it with Ethernet or even another computer in the bedroom because by the time I'm done I'm going to have a lot more room to play around in there I'll have the extra ports on that so I am tempted to mount that on the desk in the bedroom two of these Dell Optiplex 740s um, Vista with a floppy disk drive yeah <laughs> no CD drive on this one this one was actually totally dead the power's up now but it was totally dead because of a faulty power supply I thought it was as soon as I plugged in plugged it in this one works by the way it's exactly the same as this one as soon as I plugged it in and it was just dead no lights no fans no nothing I had a feeling 
Then it was the power supply. Nine times out of ten, it's a dead power supply. I then got this little Dell here. This is like a smaller version of what I put Windows 2000 on. Intel Celeron. Don't know what Dell it is though. Is it going to tell me on the sticker? I can't read out this angle. Uh, my brother is interested in this Acer Aspire. Again, both of those post. I know this one posts. I'm going to presume this one does because it does exactly the same thing as this when I turn it on. And no error codes. So I'm going to assume this one posts, although I haven't tested it that far yet. But that posts, that posts, that posts. And the XP on the end there, the Packard Bell posts as well. And I've got that dinky little micro case there, which is an Acer S bar as well. <laughs> Dude, this one's funky. Look at it. Look at that. <laughs> Uncovers your audio and USBs that way. And this bit all around the power switch here and the power LED and hard drive LED all lights up as well. But yeah, my brother's interested in this one. It's got an AMD X4 quad core on it, 2.2 gigahertz. Um, DDR2 memory is what it takes. Obviously, like I said, it didn't come with it. None of them come with memory or hard drives, but these days, one, not many people want hard drives. They want SSDs, and secondly, there's data protection issues as well, because the guy I know does a lot of home and office clearances, so these would have probably come from a computer shop, you know, clearing out their rubbish, because obviously they can't just throw these out with the ordinary rubbish. They've got to be either recycled or scrapped, which costs them money, so... Um, and RAM's not that expensive anyway. Well, it might be for the old XPs like this one. This is a weird case. This is, um... It reminds me of an Apple, because it's got this lever on the side here that you pull. But it's also got a lock on the back there. And the keys. Surprisingly, it's got the keys. But if I just point you around the back here, look. There's the knob, which is also a lock. And the keys are somewhere on the back there. I hope you can see them. I can't see my screen at the minute. Here's that little case. Look at this. It's tiny, look. Absolutely tiny. I don't even know what I'm going to do with that myself. It'll be an interesting one to build. I mean, I was actually tempted to build a machine that can well, easily run Netflix or something like that and connect it to the TV because somewhere hiding under here, if they work I do have Wi-Fi cards which would make life a little bit easier I just hope they work if they work, I've got a feeling my brother's going to want one as well Which I don't blame him, because I find they're better than the USB ones. Let's try to kick my chair back. Oh, someone's messaged me. Massaged me. Oh, yeah, I did see that in the news as well, that uh, the next Doctor Who is going to be a woman. First woman, I believe. Well... I haven't seen Doctor Who in years, but I do know when he uh, reincarnates, he does take on various forms, hence why over the years he's looked differently, so they say. So I suppose it is possible that he could reincarnate himself as a woman. Uh, right. Anyway, I don't really want, I haven't watched Doctor Who in years. What if I could actually find the parts to rebuild that little Acer? I'm going to research it. I don't know why it's been stripped out. I'm guessing someone stripped it out and put all the guts 
into another case. I don't, I don't know why you want to do that. I was it like, why won't the case come off? Because of a bloody screw. Oh, I've got these as well. Look at this. I hope these work. Can't test them because I can't get to the bag of adapters. I think that's what's driving me nuts at the minute because I did have a bit of a a downer depressed day yesterday. I think it's because I've got things you know that I want to do and test and play with and at this precise moment in time I can't because uh, everything is here there and everywhere obviously oh it's gone dark <laughs> oh god it's better with the light off it's less scary at least for you guys <laughs> if you can't take the piss out yourself and laugh at yourself then to me you don't have a sense of humour right Oh shit. I must remember I've got this door. Sand down as well. But yeah, my bag of adapters with the 5 volt adapters in that I need are in there. <laughs> and I'm <laughs> I suppose I could get to it if I really wanted to. But I think I'll wait. But I think I'm going to see if I can find... I know on eBay you always get job lots of RAM and job lots of hard drives, but I'm going to see if I can find some, not next week, not the week after, but the week after that. So basically not my next payday, the following one. See if I can find a couple of job lots for parts. Um, don't need sound cards, don't need AGP type video cards. I've got two PCIe video cards in there. And I've got a couple in the box as well. Which I want to just, um, I want to get up there as well because I want to see what the um, specs of those are. The ATI Radeons, but if the specs are, you know, on par with this one or better, and I'll use those temporarily in the next uh, rig. But I don't actually have any decent looking cases. Oh yes I do. So I've got that other one which is in the outside cupboard. I've got the one off my brother. I could build it in like that. I can't use the Lenovo. Well I could, but I can't get the video cards in. <laughs> Because there isn't enough fucking room. <laughs> Lenovo didn't think of that, did they, when they built that machine? Which is a shame, because it's a nice little case, but... <sighs> it would do to... Well, actually, it's more than enough to, like, run Netflix through the TV and whatnot. But, uh... Could do with a video card that's got HDMI on it. Because uh, TV's got it, so you know. So I might see if I can find one. It's not going to have to be super duper high performance. So I don't think it's going to break my piggy bank too much. But like I said, I can't get the damn thing. I did have one, but I don't know where it went. Don't think it's on any of my PCs. No, it ain't. My XP one is using the video card that used to be on this one when I first got it, so I know it's not on that one. Oh, I'll have a look later. I'll have a look when I can. Anyway, I just thought I'd put the camera on, give you an update. You know, I've been a busy bee. A very busy bee. I'll be glad when this venture is over. My stepdad's got the easy bit, you know. The painting is the easy bit. It's not going to take him that long to put the paint on the walls. I've got the task of moving everything around and putting it all back and setting everything up. Oh well, it'll be worth it when it's done. That's why I keep telling myself. <laughs> it'll be worth it when it's done. 
like I said he doesn't have to do the woodwork the whole way I can do that but I would like to get it done in like the bedroom and in here before I put everything back otherwise I've got to pull it all out again and I don't really want to do that I don't see the point in doing just the woodwork that's visible either if I'm going to do it do the whole lot or I could cheat and just do what's visible because most of it isn't visible <laughs> we'll see, see how I feel when it comes to that and I'll find some dirt on the wall that I need to clean right there anyway thanks for watching and I will talk to you all again very soon I hope bye